Hey y'all, King Nails back with another video. Today I'm doing buffalo chicken sliders. I'm doing salmon and cheese summer rolls fried. And I am also doing fried shrimp. So rock with me, cook with me. Hope y'all been blessed. Hope y'all been cooking. Let's get into this video, y'all. Okay, so I have chicken here that needs to be shredded from a rotisserie chicken that I had. I just took it off the bone and I'm going to shred it up. So that's what we're going to do. So I have my gloves. I washed my hands. We have gloves here. How's everybody New Year's going so far? Mine's is going good. God is good. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm here and I'm healthy and I couldn't ask for nothing better. So we're going to shred this chicken. And you want to make sure there's no bones left right here. So we're going to shred this chicken up really fine. Because you don't want to bite into your slider and you bite into a bone, baby. Because then that's not a party in your mouth. Especially when it's unexpected and you bite down. You don't want that. And it's okay if you got some skin in here too. Just add more flavor to the party. I miss my queens and king cooks. Miss Joel. I got a lot of projects going on. A lot of projects that I want to start. Got a lot happening, y'all. Get it fairly good and I have my oven already preheated to 325 just to get it nice and hot so when I'm ready to put the sliders in we're good see little bone Imagine biting into that and swallowing and not expecting it. You don't want it. You don't want it. I just, while I'm doing this, I want to give out a couple shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Cousin AB. I really like your mukbangs. You are funny. You are genuine. You are real. You have fun with it. And you talk about some awesome stuff sometimes. And you be having me and my wife rolling. I also want to give a shout out to Big Guy Appetite. You're funny. You're amazing. I love your mukbangs too. My son, now when he eats dinner, he be like, mm, uh huh, uh, uh huh. So, and I want to give a shout out to Steph and Tosh. Your mukbangs are amazing as well. I love you guys. You're a beautiful couple and everything. I want to give a shout out to Mama Jones. Hey, Mama Jones. Happy belated birthday. Um, if y'all don't know who Mama Jones is, that's Funny Mike's mother. She's an awesome cook as well. I watch her cook videos as well. So those are my shout outs, y'all. Okay, all right, so we got this all good. Now see the little bones that we have. We're gonna discard of that. Because we do not want it. So we discard. So now we're going to go into what we're going to put into our buffalo chicken filling. I call it. So we got our shredded chicken. So with that I'm going to add some hot sauce. And I'm going to add creamy Caesar. And we want to mix that up 
and I'll be back with a spoon. So we're back. I have my spoon, so I'm gonna add some garlic. Just already chopped garlic. You don't need a whole lot. Just like we don't need a whole lot of seasoning because the chicken is seasoned very well. Very well. But I am gonna add cilantro. Also, my mom's house seasoning. Mm. And that's it. That's it. That's all. Okay. Take these off. And we're going to stir this up. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks. I don't want it too wet. Okay. And this the filling for the sliders, some drop. That is good. That is good. Okay. Filling is done for that. So, we're going to start assembling our buffalo chicken sliders. So, I have a little casserole dish here. You want the casserole dish. And I have some hot dog potato buns here. Now, these are a little bigger than like normal size sliders. That's okay. That is fine. So, what you want to do is put it down like that. Okay. One more. There you go. And what I'm going to do is the bottom buns, I'm going to coat it with sauce, okay, take my spoon and just smear it, okay. And then what we're going to do is, I need gloves, I'm sorry y'all. I'm, I'm cooking this for my family, but it's just me. Just me. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to put some there. You're going to do that to each one. If you have some left over, that's fine. Use it for something else or to make more if you like. However you want to do it. Now, I'm going to top hot sauce. So you just want to dash hot sauce on top. And then I have provolone cheese. So you're gonna put it on each well. You're gonna put it on each one. Now I'm gonna put the top buns there. Slide them over. Because everybody has to get cheese. Right now, make sure they're on there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our tops on, but we're not done. We are not done. Put our tops on, and that's how it's going to look in my casserole dish. I'm going to move the cheese. 
All right, so what our next step is, I'm gonna grab a liquid measuring cup. Now this here I have, it is garlic infused cooking oil. And I'm gonna brush the tops of our buns. So I get that beautiful, crispy golden brown. But I'm gonna add to this as well. I don't need a lot, just a little. Oh my gosh, and it smells amazing. And then I'm going to put in cilantro. And as if this didn't have enough garlic, a little bit more garlic with parsley. Okay. And I'm also going to put in some basil. All herbs, all herbs. Now, whisk that together. Well, stir that together like that. Get your brush. Have my brush. This is for cooking use only, not to be painting your walls. Cooking use only. So, have the brush, and we're going to. Brush the tops just like that. Make sure your tops are nicely coated. And there we have, I'm going to pop these in the oven for about five to 10 minutes and then they're going to be done. And then we're going to go to our next segment, which is my salmon and cheese spring rolls. Stay tuned. All right, we are back. Now this is salmon in a can, pink salmon. It's really good if you want to make um, salmon cakes any type of cheese spread with salmon in it, amazing. So this is what I'm using. And I'm gonna put it into my bowl. And I'm going to break it up. I have a knife here and my glove. Brand new glove. Okay. And I'm gonna break it up. You want this to be smooth because it's going to like a cheese cream cheese spread that we're doing. If you ever had like crab ragu, it's something like that, but with salmon. Okay, so that's what it looks like broken up. Now we're going to move on to our next thing. All right, so we're back. So now we're going to cut up our pepper, our onion and everything get that together because we want to make sure that's correct so let me wash my hands washy hands washy hands clean hands clean hands all right so first we have a little onion you only need a little onion you don't need a big onion little onion and we're going to chop this up So, I want to do fairly fine chops. Okay. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to cut it this way. pieces that got away from you, just chop them on up. Okay. You know, my wife doesn't like onions, so I try to mince it as fine as I can. She likes the taste, but she doesn't like the feel on her mouth. So I 
mince it up as fine as I can. I have a food processor, but my hands work. All right, and I'm gonna scoop that, and my bowl's right here, off to the camera. And just put it on in there. And I still have a little half of one left. Now we have a green pepper. And I like to, because I'm not going to use all of this. So I'm going to chop this up first and see. Grab a bunch. I was in culinary art school. My chef used to cuss me out all the time because how I held my knife. He didn't like how I cut. But not all chefs, you know, cut the same. I know I don't. As long as they all come out uniform at the end, that's all that matters. Don't let nobody make you feel discouraged when you're prepping your food and you're cutting. As long as at the end of your preparation that they all are uniform, that's all that matters. That goes in to the pool. Okay. All right. So onions chopped, peppers chopped. Now I have some sweet peppers here. Okay. I'm gonna take a few out. I'm going to pour a little juice in my salmon mixture. I'm just going to roughly chop this. That's all. All right. See that? All right. Everybody's in the pool. I'll be back. Let me clean up my area. And we're going to start filling these spring rolls. So we're back. So we have our salmon, our onions, our peppers, our sweet peppers. And I put garlic in there as well. Grandmother's house seasoning. Also some sea salt. Celery seed, just a little. Cayenne, just a pinch. All right. And with that, I'm going to put a few dashes of fish sauce. Just a little bit. Some lemon juice. Just a tad. And a little bit of whole grain mustard. Just a little. And then we're gonna add our cream cheese in. Mm 
And make sure your cream cheese is softened so it's easy to mix with the salmon. together looking good looking very very good okay so this is our bed our filling I'm sorry and this is what it looks like now, put that off to the side. We come and we get our spring rolls. If you don't know what that is, it's rice paper. That's all it is. And it comes out like this. So I'm gonna take out a few. Four, five, six. I'm gonna do six. Okay. Now, what you want to do is, I have some water and with a little vinegar in it. What you want to do is dip it in. So it gets soft, so about 20 seconds. And just check. Because you want it where you can fold it. Okay. Like that. And put it on <laughs> the cutting board. Be very fast because it will dry fast. Put some of the filling in the middle. And you want to bring this side over and then this side. And then you want to roll. Make sure it's Nice and tight. All right. That's one. And I'll be back when I get them all rolled. And I'm done wrapping them. So, this is what we have. And we're going to fry them. So, skillet. Fry it on. Medium high heat cooking oil. So I'll be back when my grease is hot and we start frying. So grease is hot. So we're going to drop our first one in. I want to hear the sizzle. All right, I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And you want it to get golden brown. Alright. Now we're going to get into our strength. So I seasoned it. Garlic powder, cayenne pepper, my mom's house seasoning, lemon juice, fish sauce. I have cornstarch here. Sprinkle cornstarch in. Along with some breadcrumbs. Packet of sesame. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is add a little 
warm water to this to make almost like a paste. That's what I want. I want a paste. Add a little bit more cornstarch. mix until it gets thick and pasty. Alright. Now I'm going to turn my grease back up. All the strip is nicely coated. Alright. And then we're going to fry these. Fry them up. See how that looks? Drop them in the grease. Gonna let them fry up. Made a little mess here. Clean that up. Let those get nice and crispy. And then we're gonna finish frying the rest of them. And I'll be right back. Alright. Put them over. And then we're done, y'all. Now I'm going to show y'all the plate, the finished product. How it looks and everything. Alright, let that go for a few more. And then we're going to get to plating. So I can show y'all the buffalo chicken slider and the fried spring roll with salmon and cheese filling and the fried shrimp. That's what we got. I mean, I'm gonna show y'all the shrimp now. That is the shrimp. And when that's done. Are done now I made this sauce real quick it's chili paste lemon juice sugar fish oil fish sauce and a little bit of barbecue sauce mixed together tastes really good and this is it all right thank y'all thank y'all for watching please like comment subscribe Hit that notification bell so every time I drop a video, you'll get notified. Thank y'all. Stay blessed and keep cooking. Chef King Nails is out. Peace.